I'm Dr. Stephen Dominguez. Today's talk is on fat as an endocrine organ. There are 30,000 obesity related deaths in the United States each year. This lecture will discuss visceral fat and the specific proteins produced by the abdominal fat cells which cause disease. Remember your feeding and satiety is located in multiple centers, the endocannabinoid system, the hypothalamus, and the pituitary glands of the brain. These signals are sent from these receptors to the brain and to peripheral tissues in order to stimulate your hunger. A number of proteins are produced by visceral abdominal fat cells which produce disease. In order to determine how much fat we currently have, we have an instrument known as the BMI index. You can find this index and calculate your BMI on the Aesthetic Medicine Today website. Recall that greater than 25 means that you are at least overweight. If you're over 30, then you're obese. Anything over 25 is disastrous. It leads to high blood pressure, subsequent heart attack, stroke, renal disease, peripheral arterial disease, arthritis, metabolic syndrome, and ultimately diabetes. There are some cancers that are related with a high fat state. But remember there is hope. Just losing 5-10% of your weight will decrease your cardiac and metabolic risk factors. The visceral fat cells produce multiple proteins. Some of these produce an increase in your free fatty acids. Some increase your inflammatory proteins, your interleukins, your CRP, your cetrates. Your cholesterol in the free fatty acid form it reveals an increase in triglycerides, LDL, and a decrease in the good HDL. Your insulin free factors include an increase in resistin and a decrease in leptin. Your inflammatory proteins are increased. Those are interleukin-136, your CRP, and your ESR or SED rates. All these together will produce an increase in your cardiometabolic disease factors, risk, and ultimately diabetes. Remember, it's the abdominal fat cells that are responsible for insulin resistance and inflammation and free fatty acids. A high triglyceride, a high LDL, and a low HDL are all a mixture for atherosclerosis. Remember, when we have atherosclerosis or cholesterol in the walls of the arteries, we can end up with a cholesterol plaque. When the cholesterol plaque hardens, it pushes upwards on a thin vessel wall known as an endothelium. The endothelium then thins and becomes irritated. If we have either diabetes or a pre-diabetic state with high blood sugars, we can form ketones or acids. Remember, a ketone is an acetone. Most of you know what an acetone is based on the use of fingernail polish. Imagine if you had a paper cut and you placed some acetone fingernail polish on there, what would that feel like? That would burn, that would hurt. Same thing occurs within the vessel wall. Now we have a hard plaque like concrete pushing up against a very thin membrane. The thin, thin membrane becomes irritated. It bursts. We have acetone or acid. It causes a greater injury. The injury then causes blood cells to accumulate in the injured site. Because we have a pro-inflammatory and inflammatory, a hypercoagulable, coagulable state, we then form blood clot. The clot is not a small one. It becomes large. It continues to grow. Why? It does not disintegrate. Remember, we're a heart, we are hypercoagulable because of the proteins. The proteins, especially plasma activator inhibitor 1, that is formed and the alpha tumor necrosis factors inhibit the, the disintegration of the clot. The clot enlarges, leading to a massive stroke, heart attack, renal failure, or in the case of digits and limbs, ischemia or death, and amputation. These are all statistics. We know they exist. You know they exist. You see it daily. If you don't see it in your family or yourself, you see it on the street. Don't become a statistic. If you lose 5 to 10 percent of your current body weight, if you're over 25 BMI, you can significantly decrease your cardiometabolic risk, which means your blood pressure will improve, your diabetes or fasting blood sugar values will improve, hemoglobin A1C, fasting blood sugars. Your cholesterol parameters will include. Your triglycerides improve. Your LDL decreases. Your HDL will increase. Your inflammatory markers, your CRP, especially the HS or high sensitivity CRP, which is a measure of the heart's inflammation. Your sed rate will improve. Your interleukins will improve. This is by a sheer will of you losing a minimum of 5 to 10%. You can do it you can lose the weight. You can do it safely. You can do it in the comfort of your own home with minimal expense through diet and exercise and if you need supplementation. Now, this is death. You don't need it. You don't want it.
do something about it. This is Dr. Stephen Dominguez. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you share this with your family and your friends. God bless.